The frogs are doing really well, but it's the newts I want to have a look at today. And also there are some very interesting things in the compost bin that I'd like to show you. It's Frog Watch. <laughs> Okay, so I want to just have a look at these newts here. This one, uh, you can see quite clearly, as uh, like a really good view of this newt. Now, um, I've always thought that there were two newts in this tank, but over the last few days I've actually seen four. They're getting a lot bigger than they were, and uh, they are getting a lot more uh, braver. Uh, I don't know whether it's because they're getting bigger, or because there are a lot less tadpoles in the tank now that they feel that it's safer for them to come out now, because they are a lot smaller than the tadpoles still. Um, now you can actually see, uh, it's a bit difficult now because he's in the, in the corner, and it's a little bit uh, misty in the corner, you can't see it so well, but his body is quite transparent. And uh, you can sort of see his internal organs, you know, quite clearly. You can see he's got very dark eyes. You should be able to see some feathery gills as well. They will eventually lose those uh, when they start to emerge onto land. Uh, but his limbs there are absolutely tiny. They're so thin, I can never get over how small his limbs are. Um, but the size of this, of this newt is probably about the same size as, uh, say, a large tadpole's tail. Um, but you can see uh, his internal organs quite clearly. Now, I was always uh, afraid there was nothing for them to eat inside this tank, because um, newts are pretty much carnivorous from the moment they hatch out of the eggs. Although I have found conflicting information. Some sources say that they will eat plant life the same that, uh, that the tadpoles do. When they first hatch out, they'll eat plants and then become carnivorous later. But most sources that I've read up on uh, will say that uh, newts are carnivorous straight away. Um, so I was wondering, you know, what is it that they're eating in there? They're definitely not eating the tadpoles because they're far too big and there's nothing really else for them to eat. Uh, but of course I have been feeding the tadpoles the brine shrimp and I did wonder whether the newts were uh, eating that. Um, so uh, I've got another little clip here which I'll show you. <clears throat> and you can see here I've just put in some brine shrimp. That's that pink blobby mass of sort of jelly-like substance. And if you look at the stomach of this newt, you can see very clearly it's very pink. So I'm thinking, you know, is that because it's just a natural colour or is it because it's full of brine shrimp? So uh, because he is sitting there and that, I did see him nibbling at the, uh, the brine shrimp a bit. I do believe that that means that these, uh, these newts are eating the brine shrimp. So that's what's keeping them going. Uh, so I'm really glad that we're able to um, sort of s s make sure that they are eating and that we're okay on. So I th I'm going to keep these newts in here and uh, I'm going to see you know, how much they'll grow over the next few weeks. So anyway, I I've got something else I want to show you outside in the compost bin. I just opened this compost bin to throw away some stuff and there was this slug. This is the biggest slug I've ever seen in my entire life. You can see how big it is. I'll, I'll get a ruler to show you uh, the size of it. But of course I did what any normal person would do when seeing a slug uh, this big. Uh, I immediately started filming it and then I googled it to see what I could come up with. Now this is a leopard slug. You can tell by the, the coloration. I mean for a slug this is the most gorgeous slug I've ever seen. Its pattern and its coloration is just beautiful. And uh, these are actually carnivorous slugs. They don't eat plants so much as they will eat other slugs. Um, they will eat dead and decaying plant matter. So they're actually quite good for the gardens. They don't eat the plants. They will eat the other slugs, which uh, which do uh, eat, um, eat your plants. So uh, that's not a bad thing to have. And their Latin name uh, literally means biggest slug. They are absolutely huge. So I reckon this was probably about six inches long when it was stretched out. I did measure it a bit later on. But uh, yeah, absolutely incredible. Uh, it's not the only interesting thing I saw in the uh, compost bin. But, uh, here if we look, lift up this lid and we have another little visitor. We have a little tiny mouse. And there we go, he's away. That's all we get to see of him unfortunately. <laughs> Anyway, back to the frogs. These are the crickets that I've been feeding them. That's a slice of potato. Uh, that They get their moisture from the potato. They, they don't, well, they will eat the potato. They eat sort of cereal-based foods, um, but they don't do very well in moist conditions, and they get all the moisture from their food. So you give them potato or carrot, that sort of thing, and uh, they do enjoy that. So we're going to have a look at uh, some of the frogs now. The frogs are getting really big. This is one of my biggest frogs in here. Um, possibly not the uh, cleverest of frogs because he's got a cricket sitting on his back and he doesn't seem to be bothered about that whatsoever. Uh, but there we go. But you can see they are getting really big. It's probably di difficult to tell from the scale of things. But um, yeah, so I've just put in a whole bunch of um, crickets here and they're, they're running around. I've got one there. He's just grabbed a cricket. He's eaten that one. And uh, you can sort of see them chasing around the food. 
Um, as I said, the, these frogs are they're absolutely adorable, but they're, they're not the brightest creatures. You know, nine times out of ten, they miss when they go for their food. And uh, if something's sort of sitting in front of them, they, they just won't go for it because they just don't see it. They, they only really detect movement. And sometimes they'll go for each other because they don't really know what they're going for. They, they just see something moving and they'll go for it. But I absolutely love my little frogs. And uh, yeah, I've probably got about another three or four weeks before I'm going to release them. So I'm going to see how much more I can look after them in that time. But anyway, that will do for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.